Hey everybody, it's me, Stella Wild, and I'm here with your weekly tarot scope for January 13th through January 19th. And uh, this week I am going to break it down sign by sign. I don't do this every week, but this week um, I always kind of tune in psychically and listen for guidance from my spirit guides. And they're telling me to break it down sign by sign this week and do little mini readings for you all. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing. It is so great to see the messages reaching so many people. And I love you all and appreciate you all for taking the time to watch the videos. And hopefully, as I said, these messages are helping you um, with your daily life with what's going on with you and as always I love to hear what's going on with you so please do leave comments and let me know how the reading resonates for you before I start I'm already shuffling before I start I also just want to mention that my year ahead reading special is still available that is on my website also the sale is still on for your luck and opportunity forecast uh, it is only $9.97 to get a lot of valuable material about your luck and opportunity for 2019. And you can get that on my website. I will leave a link in the description. It's only on sale until January 22nd, the day of the full moon. So you might want to take advantage of that now. Okay, so here is the way the reading's going to go this week. Because we like to keep it fresh. We got to keep it fresh. Um, I'm going to draw for each sign, as I already said, and I'm going to start with an angel card to get the general energy that you'll be dealing with for this week or an area of concern uh, area that you'll need to you know, focus in your, your attention on. Um, I will clarify with a couple of my John Holland tarot cards. And then after that, I had a special request <laughs> from one of my loyal viewers, loyal fans, and she asked if I would please continue doing the angel card when I ask you guys to think of a question and then I pull a card. So we'll do that for each sign this week, not the elements, but each sign will get an angel answer card. So <laughs> let me get settled in because this is going to take a little time and let's get into it. And as you know, I have to pause the video every 10 minutes or so, so my computer doesn't have a meltdown. All right, so let's get into this. I hope that you had a good week. It's been a very interesting week, this last week. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's been, it's been very interesting. Um, a lot of different things happening. We're already feeling shifts with the eclipse. I certainly have been feeling it. People that you know are close friends of mine have been feeling it, so. I hope that the eclipses are treating you well. Um, all right, so let's get started. Okay, Libras. What do my Libras need to know this week? What is going on for you? All right, let's see. What do you need to know? I'd like a card to pop out. My cat is lurking in the background, so if you hear a strange noise, He's been doing things. <laughs> okay, don't go in the curtains, please. Hey! All right. Libras, come on. I need a good card. Libras. All right, let's take this one. Okay, so we got nature. I'm going to pull another one because this one is not that exciting. But... <laughs> But this is about spending time in nature, connecting, relaxing. So maybe you'll be having a little vacay this week. Maybe you'll be able to take a walk in the park during your lunch break, get away from it all, just kind of rest, rejuvenate. All right, that's fine. That's all well and good, but I want another card. Plus the cat was distracting me. All right, this one's kind of popping. Let's see. All right, blessings. Beautiful card. So there will be some sort of blessings coming to you this week. And we'll pull some tarot and find out some more about this. 
This is beautiful. Look at the angels sprinkling little flower petals <laughs> all over the village. That's very nice. All right. Now my cat's in the paper bag. Do you, do you hear the things that go on? All right. What is the nature of these blessings for my Libras? What do they need to know? For my Libras. Okay. So this is interesting because Aries got this card also. So this is the devil card. And so you're like, what? How could that be a blessing? Well, this is a blessing because to me, and look, we have the, I mean, I don't know if this is a full moon, but it looks like a full moon. There will be a blessing of being, I feel, released from temptation, avoiding temptation, overcoming some sort of bad behaviors like eating too much sugar, guilty okay you know like something like that um if you have aries in your chart go watch the aries video since they got this card also so if you have aries moon or aries rising go watch that libra um but to me this the blessing is to be able to avoid the temptation avoid the thing that's not good for you i'm going to pull another card a little more what else do we need to know Okay, and I'm shuffling, but this card came up. Uh, Leo had this. So fertility. So there could be a very nice blessing for you this week, Libra, with your creativity, since this is the heart chakra. This is the Empress card. So it can be with your creativity, a creative project. You may hear some good news about it that, um, you know, maybe it's been accepted for uh, publication or um, somebody wants to... Uh, you know put it on for production if it's a you know theater production maybe your uh, new website you're gonna get new clients it's a very fertile time to plant new seeds uh, in your creative endeavors this can also mean pregnancy okay and pregnancy is often a blessing <laughs> I say often often not always but often often a blessing for people um, so that's a possibility also. So it's interesting here. We have two major arcana cards for you. So the blessings that come through this week, Libra, are not going to be your garden variety blessings. They're not going to be just like, oh, you know, <laughs> I had a good day. This is going to be major because it's major arcana. So it's going to be really avoiding something that is just no good for you. And there will be a reward from the universe for doing it. You're going to let go. I feel like you're letting go something. This could even be um, a self-defeating behavior uh, that you let go of by the full moon. Like there, a line is drawn in the sand and you're like, I'm not doing that anymore. Because I do want to invest in my creativity, in my fertility, in positive things in my life. And, you know, if I get too caught up in this stuff, I don't have energy for this. So I think this is very good. Very, very good. All right, let's pull an angel card. But I feel by that full moon, there will be um, something that will come. It's a test. It's a test from the universe, Libra. Are you going to go down that road again? I don't think you will. The escape from the road of temptation is to focus on your own creative projects and the things that in your heart make you happy. All right. Think of a question. I'm going to pull an angel answer card. This may also illuminate the reading we just did. All right. Let's see. All right, this one, see how it's sticking out? Okay, improving your health. That's very good. I'm gonna pull another one, because that's like good. So that may be an answer to somebody's question. 
And of course, it would be improving your health if you stopped a bad behavior of, you know, drinking too much or eating too much sugar, etc. All right, but let's have another one. I want to know what else about these blessings. And of course, improved health is a blessing. Absolutely. Without your health, you don't have anything. All right, let's see. What else? What other blessings? Libras. I need to know. Let's do this one. Okay. Communicate clearly. I think Gemini got this. So, I feel the blessing. I think you will be tasked, Libra, with a test from the universe this week in which you need to communicate clearly and draw a boundary with someone and say, no, no, I am not doing that because it doesn't support my health and it doesn't support my creativity. Okay. And as a result, I think of drawing that line in the sand for somebody, there will be a letting go at that full moon. There will be a release of a situation, a friendship, business partnership, um, you know, family relationship may shift, you know, something like that, because you are not going to be led into temptation and have your health suffer and your creativity suffer any longer. So that's it for me for the full moon lunar eclipse week leading up to that on the 21st. I hope you all have a beautiful week and that yeah please like leave a comment let me know how the reading resonates for you and i would love to hear how this eclipse plays out um, energetically for you as well so i hope everybody has a great week take care and i will see you soon stella wilde signing out